We're live. I would like to whisper to you about your car warranty. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with these levels here? Testing them out. Of what? Your voice. Is Am I too loud? There you go. No. Not loud enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't heard that one before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah how's everybody doing welcome back to the channel we are introducing something new and we're gonna call it the ink therapy podcast ging, 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 ging. damn that was really good yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's nobody else that would want to do this podcast than with the beautiful resilient <laughs> oh i'm too far away let me get comfortable <laughs> <laughs> i gotta get comfortable because i don't know if i should lean back so get comfortable but not too yeah not too comfortable i'm, I'm like on that. the edge of this beanbag chair holding on oh, to your life <laughs> the whole beanbag is tilted like, <laughs> you want to readjust no i'm okay I'll just <laughs> stay here <laughs> i won't move a muscle um so with this podcast the whole purpose of it is uh to be <laughs> you okay you, you should readjust for sure <laughs> you should. i'm all right <laughs> I'm, I'm comfortable <laughs> you're gonna roll off that real soon <laughs> okay i should probably just put my feet oh, feet oh. On the <sighs> okay oh, there you go uh the purpose of this podcast is we are going to be answering emails here so you guys you know in case you send an email you are probably gonna hear it on this podcast and uh, in case, you know, we're going to be showing who we accept, accept, accept or accept either or either or. And we're also going to be reacting to uh, tattoo videos that we find on TikTok. So if you guys want to keep tagging me, I, I have a few people who tagged me on a few videos already. And um, I still haven't decided on the on the title. What do you think should be of the reaction? Yeah. Reviews? Tattoo nightmares. Oh. oh damn i damn. was just gonna be like reacting to tiktok videos. <laughs> <laughs> and we're also gonna have guest artists or not guest artists we're gonna have guests joining us in the podcast we're gonna be fa facetiming them and you know kind of having a chat with them tell telling us their stories and telling us their or anecdotes that's a long one for me <laughs> mr reyes <laughs> anecdotes i didn't study for this podcast <laughs> Damn, we're oh. just throwing words at me. <laughs> <laughs> Anecdotes. Um, and just asking them questions, you know. So we're going to have your favorite, uh, or I hope it's <laughs> your favorite YouTubers, your favorite tattoo artists in here. And we're hoping to, you know, get their point of view or telling us their favorite stories, you know, whatever they've been through in, in their career and stuff. So uh, we're going to be introducing our first guest at the end of this podcast uh so something cool happened yesterday and uh we uh finally launched the website launch <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. am i saying it right because it's spelled really weird l-a you wait, are you <laughs> <laughs> you forgot he like totally didn't let me know that we were supposed to study for this no i mean i'm just, I'm just launch launch come on launch like we're going out to lunch no that's lunch you said it right. Launch. Right Chill. Launch. Launch. Mm -hmm. We launched. With the ED? Yeah. Yeah. We launched. Past tense. <laughs> I'm emphasizing it too much. Yeah. Um, the website yesterday, and it was uh, it was intense because as soon as, you know, uh, I announced it, I said, I'm going to drop the website at 12 p.m., so you guys are going to be able to book your appointments. Uh, if you're an artist, you can reserve your seat to for the upcoming seminar. And you can buy your merchandise there too. And all these cool things that uh, that we ended up adding in the website. But a lot of people logged in at the same time that the whole website crashed for like an hour. So like man, typical influencers. Oh my me. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I crashed oh. the website. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really cool the yeah. website looks really really good um you and marco both did a really great job yeah. looks really really cool yeah i'm glad he uh he was very patient with me 
want you to shout out your website? Hell yeah. Uh, so the website is under Mr. Period. No. It's oh, no, no, no it's period. not period. You can't Mr. put that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Mr. Reyes Inc. Dot com. That's it. Simple. And you can either find the link on my TikTok, my Instagram, and I'm going to be putting the link on the description here on this video. And uh, or you guys can type it on your browser. How do you feel that you have a, a website now? Uh, I mean, like I, you have your own website. Um, I feel really excited. I feel happy. Uh, I get this feeling of uh, relief because we uh, before we got the website, we were going through a lot, you know, with the emails and uh, the our email couldn't take any more emails because it was full and. I think it was just overwhelming. Um, I was the one answering the page. Everybody was like, get a new assistant. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> right to to the heart. Like, dang. Um, yeah. But I think it was just overwhelming. You would just um, continue to get emails. And then when we would book someone, it would be like for months behind and mm -hmm. you know how do you answer the emails do you go from like top to bottom or bottom to top because you or know random <laughs> are the people from the past like still looking to get you know tattooed mm -hmm. um so it was really um overwhelming especially for me um yeah. at that point just because i was just receiving non-stop emails and i tell kevin be like uh I don't know how we're going to go through all of these. Like, it was impossible. <laughs> yeah. We'd go through some, and you would feel like you're, you know, taking away a load. But then you look back, and it's the same. So it was just too much. Uh, you know, some people would write uh, things like, oh, I just want an appointment. Like, how soon can I get in? Or does he have next week available? And mm -hmm. it's just... I know their intentions are not, you know, to be rude or yeah. inconsiderate, hopefully. <laughs> um but you know read the room um he does have like a a, a lot of emails coming in all at once mm -hmm. so it's just like uh they expected me to be able to reply you know as soon as they sent that email so i think that was really rough and i'm guy. just like sinking Lord, <laughs> slow Lord. you start <laughs> you're like all the <laughs> <laughs> sinking into this big yeah. chair oh, i'm like i swear the microphone was right here that was at my forehead <laughs> and yeah i, I think... want you closer to my thoughts <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me were you gonna show me the tiktok video oh yeah okay okay, okay. should we should we do that now okay let's do it well let's i don't do know it. yeah i think i should do that let's do i'm that. just gone with the flow yeah, man i'm just flow. so what's this video uh i got tagged on this video um couple of weeks back and uh it's basically about um this girl here who got a tattoo mm -hmm. and she was um she she couldn't speak up that she wasn't liking the tattoo does she, she explain all of this yeah yeah oh, okay. she explains it and um let's watch it put a finger down if you went to a tattoo shop and you showed the tattoo artist this photo of what you wanted oh damn that's dark mm-hmm you tell her that you wanted it on your sternum and she says she's not going to copy it exactly and you're like okay i completely understand that because you completely understand that so she says she's going to draw up something for you and she'll call you back so then she calls you back and she shows you the stencils she made and you think it's absolutely horrendous but you have social anxiety and no mean mo no mean bone in your body so you tell her that you like it and just hope that it turns out better on your skin and then can you pause it really quick? Yeah, yeah. Is that normal? Um, is that a normal thing for artists to not want to do that exact design? Um, as artists, we do want uh, to have at least creative freedom to make something that you brought in and make it better. Um, so, like, right now, I'd be like, I find something on Pinterest. Uh -huh. And I really like how it looks. And I want that exact thing. And I go to an artist right now and be like, hey, I want this exact thing right here on my forearm. Mm -hmm. They won't give me that. Um, If it's a simple tattoo, I mean, I, I, I haven't I haven't done, uh, like, walkings in a while. Mm -hmm. But when, when somebody brings in, like, a simple design and they want that exact same tattoo, then... Yeah, well, I, I would I would just do it, you mm -hmm. know, because 
it wasn't it is not original design you know it's more of a copy paste butterflies flowers but it fits more of a custom piece where they they bring the idea of like oh i want this exact style that this artist did and that artist is well known then that's when it's kind of like I can't just copy paste what this artist put a lot of effort into customizing. That was a very long explanation <laughs> to my question. Um, okay. So sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. All right. This is how it goes everywhere in the house. <laughs> Where's the laundry? Where'd you put the laundry? Oh, we'll see. I was living through my day and I woke up <laughs> and I decided to go take a nap and then I woke up and then I went to the fridge and then I walked back from the fridge. Okay, for So sometimes. She tattoos it and it ends up being completely, absolutely horrible and nothing like the picture and uneven and you tell her that you like it and then on top of that she accidentally scratches your shoulder with the tattoo gun and says, oh. I'm sorry, free tattoo, haha, and you're like, haha, instead of getting really mad like anybody else would, and you still pay her $300 and tip her and then cry a lot in your car. Oh, oh no. man. What a horrible wow. experience. That's horrible. That is. Has that ever happened to you where you accidentally hit them on your way back? Knock on wood. Never so that's happened. never happened has to you? never happened. And that is because I'm terrified that that's going to happen. So I okay. exaggerate my movement back to the to the east. Oh, okay. So I exaggerate it because I'm afraid that that's going to happen to me one day. So even when I'm tattooing like the shoulder, I'm like... Because mm. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm trying to avoid... Or uh, clients have the, the habit uh, of turning when I'm tattooing the shoulder. So I'm like, hey, you better turn around before I give you a face tattoo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wink, <laughs> give me <a> mole. <laughs> my first tattoo, I think it was my first tattoo. Um, my sister had uh, taken me to this place that she had that she usually gets her tattoos from, and I remember I was really excited. Um, I wanted just like a small, dainty little thing. I wanted like a little lotus flower, the smallest thing ever. That's all I really wanted. And um, I showed the person the design, I think, that I had seen, like, on Pinterest or something, Google, I don't know. And how's the call? He's just like, oh, okay. And he goes to the back and um, starts drawing it up, which for me was surprising because I assumed, you know, yet again, that he would just give me the exact design that I wanted uh, of that little example I gave which is just like a small little lotus flower. Simple, looks like four, five, six lines, mm -hmm. honestly. And um, he went to the back, he drew it up, he came back, and um, it just looked like weed. Oh, like so, a weed plant? Like a weed plant, yeah. So I was just like, yeah, no, I don't want that. Um, so he's like, okay. So he went back and he drew it again. And he came back and he showed me and I was just like, no, I still don't like it. So at that point, that's when I started feeling uh, nervous because mm. I was just like, okay, well, I already turned him down, you know, twice on his design. So you start feeling bad. So I start feeling guilty, uh -huh. you know, like, oh, I'm making him work too hard, you know, for this small little tattoo. And he comes back the third time and the third time. I mean, it's not like horrible or anything like that, um, but it's not what I what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Um and i was just like uh well it's not bad in oh, my head gosh. and i was just like okay oh we'll do that one and i mean the guy was nice you know he wasn't like throwing any shade or being mean about it i could have easily said no not that one again too uh, but i think it was just like the uncomfortableness of him going back and forth drawing it up um so i i feel like that was my fault um, but it was my first tattoo and I was getting anxious. Mm -hmm. Um, you kind of like learn to live with it and it's just like, I don't hate it. Mm -hmm. Um, forward years later, you date a cover up artist and <laughs> he's currently gonna be uh, covering that up, uh, really soon. Yeah. So, but, um, it's on her hip. Yeah. It's on my hip, mm -hmm. but it's, I understand, you know, I understand what she was feeling. 
Um, yeah. I mean, that sucks. Yeah. It, uh, yeah, it's a lot of lines. There's not, there's no room to add more. You have I mean, to take out. <laughs> I feel like she could just make it a really pretty butterfly, no? With like, <sighs> like cover up in gray. Oh. Put put more uh, solid designs that would eliminate more of those those lines mm-hmm. and clean up the edges because it's, it's very crooked. Like, Is it really? I yeah, look know. at the lines are very shaky. I can kind of understand why they're shaky. Why? And it is because they don't have enough experience to pack in lines on a stomach. And it's so hard to pack in lines on a stomach because the person is breathing. So you need experience. Even for myself, I find it complicated. <laughs> hey, could you t- <coughs> stop, stop breathing? Stop, breathing. <laughs> stop. <laughs> We'll yeah. both start breathing. We'll yeah. both stop breathing during this line, please. <laughs> to, to be uh, well, whoever tagged me on this video, um, go to her video and please let her know what her happened. Know. Yeah. I'd want to know yeah. if she got that taken care of. What would you recommend? Would you do like a laser treatment? What would you try and cover that up? Or? I, because she got an outline that she wanted, so at the end of the day, she can always get two to three sessions and fix it have someone uh, add more simple design to it or designs speaking of too even though i'm an artist i feel like i have that problem too really yeah so uh, about what though uh like when i'm getting tattooed i feel like uh until i got this one Mm -hmm. uh a portrait the portrait of you Mm -hmm. uh shout out tommy lee uh he's the one who did it uh, I feel like before then, I got all these tattoos all over me, but I never had a... I, I thought the artists, too, they, they know what they're doing, so I shouldn't say what they're supposed to do. Yeah. Dang, that's... I think when I felt that was when I got um this one here, this heart. Uh-huh. I don't know if you guys can see it. This heart right here. <clears throat> it's a... Uh, um, they custom... I mean, it's, it's Sagrado Corazon, mm-hmm. um, and... Well, while the artist was doing it, I, all I could think to myself was, you know, you're not using solid black. You know, you can grab solid black and make this darker because my skin tone is is a little bit darker skin complexion. So I know that my skin only it would only work if they were to put solid black in it. But he was avoiding the solid black. And I don't know why. And I kept thinking to myself, just go to the solid black and put it on my wrist because Damn. it's going to make it stand out even better. Uh-huh. But I also didn't want to feel disrespectful because that was going to make me look like I'm superior, you know. But that was in the back of my kind head. Kind of like telling him what to do. Exactly. So I, I felt like I just let him do it, you know, just let yeah. him do it. And I, I, I didn't say anything. <laughs> but until I got this one, I didn't feel that at all because I did my research and I knew who I wanted to do this portrait mm-hmm. because it was, for me, it's one of the most important portraits I was going to get, you know? <laughs> hey. <laughs> so I didn't want to make the same mistake of me um, doubting the artist throughout the process and thinking, oh my God, is it going to look like her, you know? Yeah. So that's why I chose Tommy. I was kind of nervous about that too. Mm-hmm. Like, were you about to have like... A random looking girl on your <laughs> on your forearm if it, it didn't look like me yeah or yeah. like if i looked at it and i'm like damn that's me like <laughs> oof, girl <laughs> like that that don't look like me who's that who's that <laughs> yeah i would have had some insecurity issues <laughs> I'd be like damn i look like that <laughs> but <laughs> <sighs> okay well that was the tattoo nightmare of the week here we're gonna do a quick pee break yeah quick pee break and then uh if you guys have any more videos that you guys want to want us to react to tag me on either uh instagram tag me on tiktok or tag me on youtube and then we're gonna uh react and give us a give you guys our our opinion so uh break a quick little break and we'll be right back (laughs) what we've all been waiting for yes we're gonna answer emails now Mm. uh i was talking to marcos and he said that um as in today Mm -hmm. since in 12 hours we have about uh over 200 emails (laughs) are you serious yep 200 requests 
this was supposed to like help <laughs> <laughs> this was actually our first email that we got on the day of the launch Whoa, before it was the first one that got through before everything went down <laughs> okay perfect um they want a cover-up mm -hmm. and they sent a picture oh tough tough the lines are pretty dark lines are pretty dark tattoos all over the place i wonder if he also wants his neck covered up hola mr reyes uh my name is john carlo i'm 22 from silver spring maryland wow maryland maryland, maryland. mary mary had a little little okay that's an actual song oh oh Poor baby I didn't have a good childhood <laughs> god damn <laughs> <laughs> okay go on zapatitos blancos zapatitos Zapatito azul there you go yeah. <laughs> okay there you have some childhood yeah. over there in spanish <laughs> <laughs> cries in spanish <laughs> 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 okay. all right i have seen all your videos and first i was afraid to even send this email because of how big the cover-up would be Crazy enough, I saw the huge dragon piece cover-up you did, and I am sure you are about the only one who could save me from these tattoos I got as a chess piece when I was 16. At the time, it was cool, but now it kind of just looks like a mess to me, and it's pretty faded. Dang, I wonder how dark it was when he yeah. barely got it. If you are willing to accept to do this cover-up, I have a complete open mind to any ideas you would have. I was born in Guatemala City, so I would love to have a Mayan Aztec design or anything on that line. Okay. But like I said, I'm open to basically anything you suggest will work. I know I'm in the East Coast, but I am more than willing to make the trip to Arizona to get tattooed by you. However many days you think it would take, I'm cool with. I was very flexible. My yeah. schedule is really flexible. Uh, so I could make any arrangements that would best fit yours i would like my whole chest covered up i have one on my throat on my throat area yeah. which i would also like covered but if the design wouldn't work or time isn't really good i'm okay with leaving it would be an honor to be a to be tattooed by you mr areas i'm more than ready to put in the investment pain time it would take I took these pictures myself. <laughs> um, please let me know if you need any different angles or just closer ones. That concept that he chose, pretty dope. I so is this a yes? Are you saying yes to the dress? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying yes. <gasps> First cover up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so next one. Um, it's not a cover up. Ooh. Style choice. It's a hint of color um um and this one it says hello looking to get a full arm sleeve greek like one i saw on your instagram okay i'm i'm gonna pass i'm gonna pass on this concept just because i f i feel like i've been doing a lot of greek mythology wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. so sorry my guy appreciate the request next email is a cover-up it's a <laughs> style choice true gray Hi, my name is Blink, and I would really like to get a cover-up done by you. I found your page on Instagram, and I really like your work. I've been wanting to get a cover-up for a while, and I feel like I can't even wear a cut sleeve. Oof. And I really want to change that, and I feel like you can help me out. I have cash ready for you if you if I can leave a deposit for a wait list or to book. Please been looking for an artist, but I've seen your work, and the, you're the man for the job. The upper arm. Okay. It's a uh, skyline. Mm-hmm. Skyline, it looks like LA. He must be from California. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Okay, there's a moon. What is the concept that he has in mind? All right. Oof, Bernini Jesus. That's a, that's a tough one. Because with this, type of st with this type of statues, I can't really cover up anything because they're too soft. I can't graft any texture from them. I'm going to pass. All right, next. It's not a cover up. Oh. It's a portrait, memorial portrait for my dad who was just murdered. Oh my god. Here's the picture. Very tough picture. I'm going to I'm going to decline. I'm going to mm -hmm. decline 
Um, and the reason why is because I feel like this this piece is so important that I I don't feel like I can I can exceed on it as much as I would want to. So I'm gonna go ahead and suggest Tommy Lee tattoo. Um, he is the artist I'm I'm gonna suggest for this piece, and uh, you're gonna be really happy with it. All right, so we're moving on to the next email. It says, hi. Uh, First off, it's a Mm cover-up. I want to say your artwork is a blessing. I'm looking to get a full-sleeve cover-up done on my right arm. I am San Jose, California, and I would have to fly out. My current art on my arm is all over the place. What I would like to get as my cover-up is The Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack and Sally. Being together, taking over the whole lower arm and upper arm being where the movie takes place, as in the town. Oof. I'm going to decline. Mm-hmm. But the concept is it's it's not something that can help me to do a, a good cover-up. What kind of concepts would you say would be able to cover something up like what she has? Because um, what she has is um like a scream and then it looks like it's another picture. It gives it kind of like an oldies mm-hmm. vibe. She has uh, lines of roses, a greenish, blackish skull. And I forgot what else she had here. They're very dark. Yeah, they're very um, dark. So what would you... The piece would have to be dark, dark, yeah, dark. Yeah, exactly. Either a, a super dark piece with a whole bunch of contrast. And probably it would take like two sessions or three to get it done. Because it's so dark that you would have to layer every single um, uh, every single part of that tattoo. Mm-hmm. Um, or I would suggest laser. At least two to three sessions. To, uh, to get the pieces lighter. Yeah. I think at that point, we would have to try out so many different concepts that she would have to be very open-minded to any concept at that point. Okay. So I think the best choice is to for her to get something that she likes, mm-hmm. she would have to laser off or laser... If she wants to go with that idea. Yeah. If she's married to that idea. Mm-hmm. All right. Next email. It is not a cover-up. Um... It is Greek with lightning on the side of Oof. left leg. I'm so sorry. I'm going to pass. <laughs> All right. Next email. It is a cover up. How I would like to cover up this tattoo shown on the picture. The goal was for it to be bigger, but the artist did quite the opposite. And ever since I f- haven't felt like myself at all. I would love a cover up from you and would pay anything it takes. <clears throat> oh, yeah. It uh, it's really up there on her hip. Mm-hmm. What is it that she wanted to do? It's like a portrait. Let me see. You can... Oh yeah, yeah. It's f- for her to cover that one up. It would have to be almost like a full outer sleeve, to where the hip. It's almost like the background. Mm. Um, I would say make something out of that and make sure that your leg looks full so pick up a, a, a concept that's gonna make um distract the eye from the lion and your eye is gonna go straight to the new piece that you're gonna get you know that's what i would suggest and because it is on your hip nobody's really gonna see it unless you're in a bikini you know but it's hot girl summer we want to be in a <laughs> bikini then <laughs> the only reason we get tattoos there is so it could look good in a bikini <laughs> oh i'm gonna pass <laughs> we're gonna approve two more clients and we call it <laughs> with your picking this <laughs> all right Ready. next one is a cover-up okay hey this is a partial cover-up as it's just the upper thigh that has the ink i'm wanting to do a full leg sleeve hip to the top of the foot oof oof i'm really digging the space themed arm you did in march and would really like to stay along those lines yes i'd let you have full artistic freedom on the piece you're doing a lot of uh space stuff right now i love galaxies right now (laughs) yeah the color that you're putting in them it's uh it's crazy i would love to see the skin complexion Mm -hmm. just to see if i was to be able to add hints of yellows and like oranges and reds and purples and blues you know 
What? What? I have never seen this kind of tattoo before. Like, I don't hate the tattoo. It's just really different. It's oh. really vibrant. Oh, it's a cover-up, huh? I forgot. Yeah. Well, it's like, a, he said it's a partial cover-up. Okay. As it's just the upper thigh that has the ink. Huh. I don't understand what he means by that. Is he going to want the whole tattoo covered up? Yeah. Or, or partially. Hmm. <laughs> confusing. All ready? I'm ready. Okay. I'll uh, guess what it is. Guess? Uh-huh. I'm uh, afraid <laughs> Come on, Frida, down here. Get your phone right there. Go, Go get, get it. it. Um, I'm going to say it's a Milky Way. What he currently has? Yeah, what he has right now. So he wants to go for a space theme and he currently has a, sta- a space theme? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just going to show you yeah, the tattoo. Just, just it to me. <laughs> here you go. Oh, what? Okay. He's going from uh see the ocean an ocean theme to the galaxy interesting stuff <laughs> this fool's riding a hammer shark yeah <laughs> that's funny so he wants that covered up well he says partially, partially covered up. what does that mean so i don't know what Would exactly. he want me to incorporate it i don't know because if i want it if it's a galaxy theme i can cover that up easy I'm going to say yes. <laughs> oh, hopefully it goes great like this. Next email. Let's hope it's you. <laughs> Next one. It's not a cover up. Nice. Hello, Kevin. This is part of the first booking request I placed since I, it only allowed me to put to input one image. Hope is all is well. It's been a little over a month since you did my arm cover up. Okay. I would love for you to finish the rest of my arm. I got a couple ideas such as woman with a butterfly covering her face. I accept. <laughs> Alright, Frida, say something. Alright. This was uh, the first episode of the Ink Therapy uh, Our podcast. Our first official episode. The first that official. Was fun. That was really fun. I think uh, very informative. Hopefully you guys liked it. Hopefully... Yeah. It wasn't too much talking. <laughs> I feel like I was talking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. I talk a lot too. Um, so if you send an email, this is where we're going to be posting it. And you're going to be able to see if you got accepted or not. Uh, if you got declined or if you're getting in, if you're getting booked. So uh, this is where we're, we're going to be officially reading the emails, right? I, if you get declined, you are not receiving a reply because I think it's so many emails. I mean, like I said earlier, it's been 12 hours and we already have 200 plus emails. So definitely here is where we're going to you're going to be able to see if you got accepted or not. Exciting real life re- reactions to your emails. Uh, yeah, just don't get hopefully you guys don't take it the wrong way or don't get offended or anything. Mm. If you are not chosen that, like I said, like right now we are reacting live uh, to every single email and when I when I hear something exciting I automatically feel it you know I'm, I feel that I'm gonna do a crazy project it doesn't have to be the biggest project it could just be a great idea and whatever makes me excited that way you're excited I'm excited and you're gonna have a, a an amazing piece yeah at mm-hmm. the end of the day you want an artist who is excited to do your piece right mm-hmm. but I wish I can get a lot more clients in but unfortunately um as in right now i'm trying to um manage you know uh, a whole youtube channel then content for tiktok and instagram then i also have uh my beautiful fiance here that we love spending time together and hanging out and going on dates you better say that yeah (laughs) and also you know editing does take a while and um, he's doing a lot guys yeah, um, yeah. you guys should be very very proud of him he's doing amazing and he's doing a lot of things getting stepping out of his comfort zone mm-hmm. i mean we're doing a darn podcast mm-hmm. while i'm stepping out of my comfort zone <laughs> just talking my life away um but i am very excited for what's to come hopefully you guys yes enjoy enjoy a new face yeah my goal is also to invite you know your favorite uh youtubers you know that talk about tattoos or 
just hearing experiences uh, from different people, different tattoo artists. I hope I can get in contact with, you know, your favorite tattoo artists that are in the industry right now and whoever's coming up and inviting different people, you know, to talk about their experience and their career. Um, are you going to say who is going to oh, be our guest that's right. person? So uh, for the next episode, for our second episode of the podcast, Ink Therapy Podcast, I'm going to be inviting Just Inked. Uh, if you guys heard of them, drop a comment. Let me know if you heard of uh, this influencer that talks about tattoos. He gives his uh, opinion in uh, how to take care of tattoos. And is he an artist? He's not an artist. He's a tattoo enthusiast and collector. So he's been tattooed yes, a lot. a lot. Right now he's working on a full back piece and he has his whole left sleeve done, his right or his left and right sleeve done so he's working on his back piece uh -huh. and he recently got his butt cheek tattooed as well his butt but and he posted it on tiktok <gasps> and it was insane i have really good communication with him so i oh i replied to him so i was like bro i need to have you on that podcast so you can talk about this topic uh so i'm excited to have him um talk about his experience and yeah that's interesting his butt cheek yeah so uh follow him on 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 instagram and youtube his name is just inked and i'm gonna put it on the description oh how cool yeah i'm excited so that's gonna be our first guest all right <sighs> let's close it peace sick thank you guys so much for watching Love the chase and the hunt, and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want, and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the